And welcome back to Hannity. So President Obama was out campaigning for Hillary Clinton yesterday. Instead of talking about her record, well, he began criticizing Republicans, talk radio, Fox News. Wow, back to the same old, same old. Watch this. Some of these folks on talk radio started talking about how I was the Antichrist. This is the, in the swamp of crazy. Look, if I watched Fox News, I wouldn't vote for me. I understand. If, if I was listening to Rush Limbaugh, I'd say, man, this is terrible. Joining us now, two former 2016 GOP presidential candidates, former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, Dr. Ben Carson. With all the revelations, Governor Huckabee, with the collusion with the Clinton campaign in the White House, the collusion with the State Department, the collusion with the Justice Department, don't, doesn't it seem odd, the timing, all the women in one day, right in the middle of the WikiLeaks dump, that show all of this, that show that even the president lied to us about when he got emails from Hillary? You know, it's not surprising to me, Sean, because this is exactly what I experienced in Arkansas at the hands of the Clinton political machine every time I was on the ballot. Within weeks, usually sometimes days of the election, there would be all manner of the craziest stuff imaginable being thrown, even lawsuits filed, everything you can imagine and more to give the press something to talk about and write about other than the issues of the election. So it looks very familiar to me. I've not only seen it, I've been there in the middle of it before and not the least bit surprised by it. Let me just say this. So far, we can't verify a lot of these allegations, but let me tell you what we can verify. We can verify that if Hillary is elected, we have a real good shot at losing religious liberty, the Second Amendment, the Fourth and the Fifth, having open borders, uh, leaving open Israel hemisphere. to blow yeah. in the wind, we can verify that this country is going to take a very, very negative direction, and that's what we need to be focused on. And Dr. Carson, when you look at the collusion with the media, the media seems they're not paying attention to some of the most profound things that have been revealed here. The, the propaganda efforts, the lying efforts, the collusion that has gone on here. No, they just want to talk about the new allegations while simultaneously ignoring Juanita Broderick, Paula Jones, and Kathleen Willie and Kathy Shelton, who I interviewed last night. So it shows that everything we learned in WikiLeaks about NBC, CBS, ABC, CNN, MSNBC, the New York Times, uh, the Boston Globe is all true that they're in bed with the Clintons. So the Clintons now want them to talk about the women that make allegations but only against Trump and ignore WikiLeaks. They're just taking orders from the Clintons, it seems. Yeah, it, it does seem that way. It's so predictable. And, uh, you know, a week or two ago, I predicted that exactly this would happen. I said that the, the tape was not going to be the last thing. There would be another thing the next week and another thing the next week because that's what they do, because they don't want to discuss the issues. I mean, wouldn't it be refreshing to have an open and honest discussion between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump about why he wants to lower taxes and why she wants to raise them? Explain the rationale behind that, why he wants to secure our borders, why she wants to have open borders. I think it will be a fascinating discussion, and the American people deserve to know the differences. We're not giving it to them. You know, Governor, when you look at the media, and that establishment is for Hillary, and that's now confirmed. And, you know, CNN feeding questions to Hillary, MSNBC being fed questions to ask Hillary in a lead up to an election. And then you got the Republican establishment. They're weak, they cut and run, and they never liked the insurgency of Donald Trump to begin with. Then you got the Democratic establishment. It's like everybody's against him. Then you see the poll numbers the way they are, Hillary in the lead in the polls. Do you think that Donald Trump has a fair shot at winning this at this point, 25 days out? Well, I do think he's got to start focusing solely on the issues that packed those rallies out by the tens of thousands. He can't let himself take the bait and respond to all these allegations because then he spends too much time, just gives more attention, and he validates a lot of the accusations. So my advice, 
focus on the fact of the contrast between Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, and it's major. It's significant. And by the way, I have to comment, when Barack Obama said that if everybody had listened to Fox News, he wouldn't have been elected, that proves right there, Sean, that people should have been watching Fox News and not all the other stuff, and maybe we wouldn't have had the past eight years with a totally broken economy. All right, guys, thank you both for being with us.